John Gill's Exposition of the Bible text, and if the plague be greenish or reddish in the garment, or in the skin, either in the warp, or in the woof, or in anything of skin, it is a plague of leprosy, and shall be showed unto the priest. Leviticus 13, 49. Commentary, ver. 49. And if the plague be greenish or reddish the garment, or in the skin, either of these two colors were signs of leprosy in garments, but it is not agreed whether stronger or weaker colors are designed, the radicals of both these words being doubled, according to some, and particularly Aben Ezra, lessen the sense of them, and so are translators. Understand it, but, according to Ben Gersom, the signification is increased thereby, and the meaning is, if it be exceeding green or exceeding red, and this is evidently the sense of the Misna, garments are defiled by green in greens, and by red in reds, that is, by the greenest and reddest, the green, the commentators say, is like that of the wings of peacocks and leaves of palm trees, and the red like crimson or scarlet, and now these garments or skins, in which the green or red spots appeared, must be white, and not colored or dyed, the canon runs thus, skins and garments dyed are not defiled with plagues, of leprosy, a garment whose warp is dyed, and its woof white, or its woof dyed, and its warp white, all goes according to the sight, that is, according to what color to the eye most prevails, whether white or dyed, either in the warp or in the woof, or in anything of the skin, the same held good of these as of a garment, or anything else made of them, it, is, a plague of leprosy, it has the signs of one, and gives great suspicion that it is one, and shall be showed unto the priest, by the person in whose possession it is, that it may be examined and judged of whether it is a leprosy or number.